Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and I am super excited about today's video because I get to be one of the first to introduce the Axe and the Razor from Biopower Modular. It's a small company, newer company on the scene and they make this module controller pair that you get as a DIY kit. Here's the story behind it and I will put uh, bookmarks in the uh, timeline if you need, if you wanna skip some of this. But um, it goes back to late 2022, and I saw a video where this fellow is playing this ribbon controller, and I was like, like my mouth dropped, because if you've ever tried to play with a ribbon controller on a synthesizer, it never quite works how you want it to work. But this guy had figured this out, so I was like, how do you buy this, whatever, and it turns out it was like just something that he made. He did a few DIY uh, sessions with the New York Modular Society, and I actually seriously thought about flying to New York to do the class, because that's how into this module that I was, or this this creation that he had made. But anyway, I kept in touch with them, and finally, they released in late uh, 2023, right around Christmas time, and I actually got, this is the very first one. My receipt says order number two, and I remember he told me, he goes, you're gonna get the first one off the line, and I paid for this, it was not sent to me for free, just if you're wondering, but um, anyway, when I got it, it said order number two, and he said, yeah, because order number one was the test order. So literally, <laughs> I was the first person to get one. Um, super excited about it. Now, I did a time-lapse video while I was building these. I'm gonna start with the Razor here and tell you a little about it. The Razor, as you can see, is kind of the, the way that it interfaces with your modular synthesizer. So you have an RJ45 jack, and that's how the axe plugs into it and then you have a bunch of different outputs including pressure position and pitch bend um, those correspond to the different sensors within the axe um, it's actually a pretty darn easy kit to build i got my kit in the mail right around christmas time and eric is so helpful like he's like at any point if you have any problems just email me uh, of course i didn't need to but i did give him some feedback on some of the things that i thought maybe weren't clear and he thanked me for that again the joys of working with a small company in any case this is sort of the the part that goes into the synthesizer that allows you to really interface with the axe now the axe does sort of resemble a typical ribbon controller i mean you can picture it like this you've got some knobs here you've got a jack where you can interface with the razor module and then of course you can do this but it has a really cool trick, and this is what I love that Eric put together, is you can also hold it like this, and then you can use your thumb on these pressure pads here, and then kind of play it in the way that you would play a guitar. Um, now, with most ribbon controllers, uh, that is not always that easy, because when you flip it like that, you know, typically when it's laying flat, you want like a piano keyboard, you want the low notes to be on the left and the high notes to be on the right. But when you flip it into a guitar, configuration you want the opposite. Well, Eric included a, a polarity switch in the design so you can change it for either one, um, which again, I think was just brilliant and one of the reasons that I was so excited about this. Um, the Axe is actually easier to build than the Razor. I don't know if easier is the right word, but it's a lot less components than the Razor. The Razor has a pretty dense circuit, um, but neither one of them were what I would call difficult uh, kits to build. I've certainly built much more difficult stuff. But anyway, that's sort of the build of the Razor and the Axe. And by the way, if you're wondering where those names came from, I did ask him that and he said, you know, if you think about like chopping wood, the Axe is where you make the broad, you know, big strokes to get that piece of, to form that piece of wood, just like you make broad, big strokes here. And then a Razor would be if you wanted to whittle it down to real precise, which is where you make precise changes here. So pretty clever. Anyway, let me uh, show you how it works. Okay, so we have our axe and our razor complete. You can see the razors in the rack, have the cable connecting them, and I've got a few wires patched up here. So what I'm doing is I'm sending the position output to the pitch of an oscillator, and let me bring this filter up here. You can hear that. Now if I touch anywhere on the ribbon, it should change the pitch. You can also slide. And notice how when I let off, it keeps the last pitch. That's actually because of this hold circuit. If I turn that off, it will always drop back to the lowest pitch. Now you can change the scale with this knob, or excuse me, this knob. So if you notice here,
and play it like a traditional ribbon controller, where high pitch is up here and low pitch is down here, you know, or like a piano keyboard. But it also has this polarity switch here, so if I switch that, now it will change it. So now the low note is here and the high note is here. But if you turn it like this, more like you would play a guitar, now it makes it more like a guitar. kind of the idea there now obviously I need to uh, figure out where you know the best place for the scale is and you know where the notes are at but you're getting the idea of what it can do okay so one more thing that I wanted to show you is the pressure sensitivity and to do that I had to change the camera angle here um, and I'm gonna have an inset looking straight at the razor module so what you see here go let me go ahead and bring the filter up and here's what we were hearing before if I touch so all the different uh, pitches responding to whatever I touch. But you notice, as soon as I take my finger away, it just keeps sort of singing out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to plug an envelope generator into the VCA from the Razor's uh, pressure. So what happens is that what that's doing is it's corresponding to whenever I put pressure down on this ribbon. So I'm sending that to an envelope generator that then will open the VCA whenever I touch. So now, Okay, so there you have it, folks. I am super happy to be the person to introduce you to the Razer and the Axe. Super cool kit from uh, BioPower Audio. And I will put the purchase link in the description if you are interested in picking one up yourself. Now, by the way, I did mention that this comes as a DIY kit. He also has a fully built one. If you're not a DIYer, but you like it, you can buy a fully built version. Of course, that's gonna cost a little more. Super cool company. And um, I'm, I'm happy to be sort of debuting this on my channel. So anyway, there it is. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. If you uh, like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.